Hello there, I am Dranko with my Pokemon Re Diamond Redo. In the last part, we got here to Route 215, but we also went through Route 2. Uh, I forget what route it was. Um, what route was it? Did it say? Route 210. Okay, yeah, there we go. And we battled a lot of trainers. Um, got a lot of good experience, though. So now we are here to finish, or start and finish Route 215, hopefully, and get to Veilstone City. Let's start with this Ruin Maniac. Let's battle him. I'm a treasure hunter. Today, the loot is a victory from you. Okay, we'll see about that. I'm gonna go back and heal. That bronze already gave me a lot of trouble. So I'll be right back. Okay, right back here. We are fully healed and we can take on this uh, jogger guy. Yeah, he's, he's an ether. Restores um, 10 PP of a single move of a Pokemon. Oh, I slow down and stop. I slow down and stop at times. Sure, I am only human after all. I guess it's no longer morning. It's actually daytime now because I'm going this out like. 10 12 a.m. on November the 20th, 2016. So, uh, depending, I don't think that that definitely not be the date when this video is uploaded, but it's when I'm recording it. So, that's pretty cool. Do, uh, do, other, do unto others as they do unto you. Yep, it's payback. It's good for Pokemon battles, but if you do it in real life, but if you do that in real life, there will be no end to the fighting, that's for sure. TM66 which is payback, it's a dark type move that does uh, double its power, double its base power if it can be used uh, after, if you attack second, so if your opponent does move first and then you use it, then um, you can uh, get double the power, yeah. Use use it after the foe and its power is gets doubled, yeah. So do I want to teach it to Karen? I don't know. I don't know if I want to or not. Let's see what the um, thing says. Payback. Um, yeah, it's dark type move. Who can learn it? Okay, bronze can learn it. Bronze or, or yeah, bronze can learn it, and Karen can. Um, yeah. Well, um, the thing is, bronze only has uh, psychic type moves right now, so I kind of want them to have a little bit more variety. If I can. So, which we should be forgotten. Um, yeah, I can only know psychic type moves. Come, okay, and then let me look at Karen's moves real quick. Just to double check. Let me actually go to a different move and see if I like. If I want to go through my TMs right now, so I might I might edit this part out, but we'll see. I'm gonna teach return to Rose. I don't know if we'll keep it on there for like for the whole. A walk the guide but for now just because rose only can learn a gr only knows grass type moves you know and yeah um so do I want to get rid of absorb or a growl I think I'm gonna get rid of absorb hmm yeah I'll get rid of absorb just because I want rose to um have a different move other than just grass type, grass type moves for now you know okay so bronze here um let's TJ payback because it only knows psychic type moves really. But let's get rid of. I think I'm gonna get rid of hypnosis because hypnosis is only 70 accuracy. Confuser is 100, but like I don't really need to put 
prefer us to sleep, honestly. Not that much, honestly. Not that much, at least in that case. So I'm probably gonna get rid of hypnosis for payback. Still through, I kept take rest. I could teach grass not to, um, to, uh, throws as well, just for now. So I might, I might do that, actually. Bronze can win grass knot too, jeez. That's kinda cool. Um, grass knot, um. Let's get rid of growth then. There we go, okay. So if it's on like a really heavy Pokemon, that'd be nice. Like, like a Snorlax or like even a Gyarados or something like that. Or like a, like maybe a Machoke if these fighter black belt dudes have like Machokes or something. They're pretty they're pretty heavy, I guess. I don't know. Um let's start by cutting down this tree. Can't see on this black belt dude. I was I was snoozing. You you claim you you claim I merely f uh, fiend this fine. I merely find a fiend sleep. Hiya. Okay, so Rose got level 26 in that battle. Jag got level 25. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put Bronze up to the front, I guess. And here's a Fist Plate, I think. Yeah, Fist Plate, which is the power of fighting type moves. Uh, the text engraved on the back of the obtained plate. Two beings of the time and space set f free from the original one. Yeah, we put that in the items pocket, okay. Oh, I guess I can give that to um the fist plate to Inferno because he does have a fighting type move. So that's cool, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Let's take on this uh, black belt dude. Check out the check the sharpness of my fighting Pokemon poke, of my fighting Pokemon's moves. Okay, I really was proud. I was really happy that I had, uh, you know, um, bronze up front because Krogunks are four times weak to Psyche type moves because they're poison and fighting type. So that's really nice. That's really nice. If we cut down this tree right here, we can pick some berries. And eventually, I will evolve my Bidoof into a B Barrel so I can teach your strength. But um, right now, that's not really on my mind with this part of the game. I mean, 
I can always wait till later, because I'm going to have to train it like he's the next being sure. I don't want to train it into trainer battles, so I'm probably going to have to work hard in training in wild Pokemon battles. But we'll see how that works out, you know? Um, I don't think I have a pill up anymore. I think it wore off. So I'm going to use another pill. And there we go. Nice. And here's an item right here. Uh, guide spec. Nice. Another battle item. Yeah. Okay. Go up here, you can just cut right here. Again, I guess just to avoid the grass. But you can totally avoid the grass if you just went around carefully, I think. Here's another black belt dude that caught me by surprise. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me that str that much stronger. That's kind of gross, dude. Honestly, no, I'm just kidding. Sweat's natural, I guess. Okay, so I forgot to mention this, uh, that since it's raining, um, two things. One, if your Pokemon has the ability to Swip Swim, like my Buizo does, which I'll show you guys right now, uh, its speed will be raised in the rain. So yeah, yeah, it boosts the Pokemon's speed in the rain. Okay, but um, if you if you if you have a Fire type like me. Inferno. That means that their uh, fire type moves will be weakened in the rain because you know water beats fire, you know stuff like that. Um, did, I, did my pro off? I'm not sure if it did or not yet. Yeah. Okay, it's stolen yours. Okay. Now I'm not gonna use the dowsing machine around here because I just wanna see if I can find any hidden items that like are kind of obvious where they would be. I guess not. I thought there was a hidden item there. Of course, their pill wires off when I'm right in the middle of a tall grass patch or area. There we go. So yeah, here's we can use cut to get this TM for Shockwave, which is pretty cool. Can anyone learn that by any chance? Um, let me see here. Shockwave, yeah. Can anyone on my team learn it? Nope, none of my Pokemon can learn it, except for, of course, Bidoof can, of course, yeah, or Becky. <laughs> okay, so I think this is in the morning, so I can't battle you, but I want to just double check. Yeah. Okay, um. Okay, let's grab this item real quick before my Pokemon wears off. Which is a full heal, nice. Yeah. Of course it wears off right there, dang it. Okay, this is a long. This is gonna be a long double battle up ahead. So let me see if I can get my team ready. Okay, I want Karen and Inferno up front. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to. Yeah, I need. I need. A, I need some healing items too. So let me see. Potion. There we go. Forty six points. Yeah. Um. What else? Who else? Okay. I mean. And one more potion. Okay. Hopefully, I have the right Pokemon up front. I know this. This couple. This uh, Ace trainers have like a Gyarados. Another Pokemon I can't remember, but I know he has one of them has Gyarados. So it's gonna be a tough double battle. 
So let's hope we can get through it. Okay, I'll bother you any I'll bother anyone. That's how I get I'll get better. And what else does the female age trainer say? I'm taking on taking the Veilstone Gym Challenge, but first Okay, that was a long battle. A couple of my Pokemon fainted though. Uh, just Jetta actually. Okay, so. We gotta arrange him again, I guess. What level is, what level is Jetta right now? Level 25, okay. Um, so yeah. All that's left is to pick these two berries. A wiki berry. Yeah. I figure what. I don't know what the berry is next to it though, what the name is. But we'll have to figure it out later, I guess. Yeah, this is about 215. It's going to the right, is Veilstone City. So we made it. Let's go through the transitional building. I'm blocking my way, man. There we go. Okay, Veilstone City. Haha. <laughs> Oh, look, Team Galactic's here. Let's try to bug him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, you. Yeah, you. This is Team Galactic's warehouse. This ain't no playground for kids. Just kicks me out. Okay, of course. Okay. So. <sighs> Let's just heal up at the Pokemon Center. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But this has been the end of my. I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. The next part will take on more Veilstone City and explore probably. Which my next part will probably be a shorter part actually, definitely, because it's just exploring, really. Um, and I want it. I want it to be a shorter part because lately these parts have been really long or something, you know. So this one's gonna go again. I will give you the again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.